Hello everyone and welcome to tonight's Watch Show Wednesday. Yes, I am solo tonight. Um, I hope everybody's okay. And I'm sure there is uh, a lot of people um, watching something else, probably. <laughs> um, as we all do. Um, but uh, there we go. Sorry, a uh, bit of a rush. Um, uh, ended up we've we well basically I've got three choices of locos for you so while this is loading you can then choose we've got a GNC with a G LNWR G2 we've got two black fives double heading or um, an AF so chat put down what you would like me to drive I'm not telling you what the route is yet because it's still loading but it's either double black fives, AF, or um, Gin C and LNWR G2, which is the 080 thing. There we go. Right, we're in. We're in the game. So the chat, you'll see I've put a link in. Uh, sorry I couldn't get it to you any sooner. Um, hope you can hear me okay. Um, but here are your locos. So we've got uh, we've got AF on its own, um, double black fives, and then Gin C and uh, G2. Uh, notice they're all preserved as well. Um, so I've uh, put them in preserved livery. So it's up to you what you want to see. I'll give it uh, two or three minutes. Um, and then decide what you want to run. Um, so, but I'll tell you that this is the Lakes End uh, branch um, uh, done by Trolley Fo uh, Trolley Fodder, I think. Um, I must admit, I've just been playing this a little bit, um, and it's absolutely fantastic. <laughs> Mod LMS, I would, but the Gin Z's got to haul eight coaches. Um, so <laughs> hence why that was put with a double header. Um, yeah, I know. It's a Seven Valley Railway Spring Steam Garless t-shirt. So, yeah, Mod LMS, I could have done two Jinties. The other thing I thought about was getting to... Um, yes, exactly, Steve. Exactly. That's why I did it. You see, it needed to be powerful locomotives for the gradients. I mean, ideally, I want to take two, because we can do a little shunt round at the other end, so we can do both sides. So, chat. What will it be? What will it be? Let's have a look. Oh, uh, well, yeah, I did think about that. I did think about watching the football, but then in the end again... <laughs> I think uh, I think you'll be able to concentrate. So yes, he is Spade Bean Kid. Yeah. Yes, I have plenty of water in all. They all started with full water. So chat, just quickly put in what you want. Just do if you just give me one minute. What would it be? Gene C and the G2. Double fives or the AF. I think by the looks of it, it's going to be the AF. Double fives. We've got two for AF. Gene C, AF. Yeah, I think Mod LMS, I think you're right. I think they are mad for the AF. Well, we've got three jinties now. AF, yeah. AF, everyone. I think it's going to be the AF, isn't it? Because I don't think we've done the AF before. Right. AF it's going to be, then. Right. Let's uh, set the road. Make sure we get out of here perfectly well. Oh, I said it wrong there. No, that's okay. 
uh, I need to set the road out onto the main. And then I need to set the road off to there. And set this road. So as you can see, I've made a freeware scenario, a uh, free roam scenario for this. There we go, right into the road we want to be. Right. Steve, that would take me a long time to put the AF, the Jinty on the front of the AF. Um, yeah, it's a bit overkill. It would take me a bit of a while, because we've still got to shun the coaches yet. Versa set forward and get our brakes sorted so we can get the brakes off. This is where someone just wants me to take all five. I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what I'll do, I'll, uh, ooh, hello. I'll go and move the uh, G2, won't take it two minutes, and we'll do a GNC and, uh, we'll do a GNC and, um, Won't take me two minutes. And we're going to uh, move the G2 and put the Jinty on the front. Make sure I actually couple them up correctly. Oh, that didn't seem very happy. There we go. Right, we all coupled, yes, yeah, so we can now uncouple the G2. Quickly move this out of the way and we're going to get the Jinty. At least you get to see a bit of shunting anyway. I'll make sure we use the G2 at another point, because um, I must admit I would like to do a run with that, but we'll... I know we could have a triple header, but for a branch line I think that would be a bit uh, insane to have two freight locos. Um, whereas this is sort of an enthusiast special, the idea behind this was. Oh, have I put that in there? There you go, that's better. Plus, I need to learn how to do the G2 anyway. 
Um, because I was having a go with the G2 earlier, and I was like, um... Have I pushed it far enough? Uh, no, I haven't. I thought I hadn't. in the other direction. If you're wondering why I've got the cylinder the cops open, obviously we're coming off shed. Um, no, uh, with the double he uh, triple headers. But I was aware of some freight services on the um, Licky Incline. They were known to have triple bankers um, purely because um, they weren't. You know, when Big Bertha was uh, sadly scrapped, they um, sort of replaced it with uh, a 9F. Um, so, uh, there we go. Sure, I'm not going too fast. Right, all coupled up. And we're off. We're off. It is a BMG uh, AF. <laughs> I'm not sure about the GNC. I don't think it's the advanced one. Could be wrong. Look at this signals. Would you know where you're going? <laughs> Obviously, we don't have to worry about the signals because we're shunting at the moment. Also, as I usually do, we've put um, plenty of um, uh, sights around so people can see what's going on. I'm just going to turn auto firing on while we're sorting things out. How is everyone doing anyway? Also both in BR Lake Crest, so we'll now come on to our set.
So this, uh, I made the scenario myself. Um, I'm not sure. Why are you cringing about the uh, Jinty mod LMS? So as you can see, I'll just show you what we've got in the set. So, oh hello, still moving. But uh, in the set, we have got some period uh, three uh, LMS coaches. We've got some Mark ones as well. Um, so I thought I'd use some of the marketplace coaches. So you've got a nice sort of mixed rake of coaches now. Right, so we need to check the road because I came across. Which I don't want to do. Sure, we go that way. Mm -hmm. right, that should give us the road. Uh, let's just put the. Right head code on. Just swap over to the Jinty for one second. Control one. Come on. Okay, we've got this on. Right. No, control shift one. No. Does that change in the AF per chance? Yes, it is. Oops, a daisy. Let's just make sure. We'll leave the head code off, right? I don't need as far forward as that. Let's just bring it back a bit. Right. There we go. Right, we're off. Uh, let's vent a bit so we get some air in. Look at that. And we're off. <laughs> Don't panic, I've got the automatic fireman on just so I don't mess anything up tonight. Yep. On the road. 
all the way through. Pass the other machines. Past the danger, so we're fine. How long is the map? It's not a very long map. If I uh, bring it up, so we are currently up here, and we are going to up here. Um, so it's not really, really long. I think the Jinty will manage. Currently going up the um, <laughs> Yeah, I think Steve is about seven miles. I think the Jinty can manage seven miles. There we go, and we've got a uh, mogul waiting for us. are off a bit so we can get some pressure up. gonna do I'm probably gonna stop because I think pressure's not coming up how I'd like it to be ideally there we go that's better that's better Boy. Yeah, no, I don't think they were. I'm not driving the GNT, I'm driving the AF, uh, Bay Binkin. So 
what, I, what I've done is the, the Jint is running off auto and I'm driving the AF as you can see. Oh, we've technically got a little bit of downhill now. Just realised we've got a speed restriction coming up. Over the viaduct. Do do do. Uh, where's my camera gone? There we are. I'll do. There we go, look at this. Oh, how's that? We're on the Lake Seine branch, uh, which is a workshop route um, by Trolley Fodder, I think it is. Uh, stop at uh, Wen Castle on the hob. That's a level crossing. the distance uh, 51 percent coal uh, bait being kid I've got auto fireman on There's eight F and a Jinty. If 
put some more coal on then, shall we? What sort of percentage? There we go. Uh, to the trains, no, the Jinty doesn't help, although it has got its regulator open, so you can hear the same sort of, but it doesn't, doesn't necessarily help. There we go. Sorry if you can hear shouting uh, in the other room, but you can guess what's happening. <laughs> oh, there we go, right. Look at that. We're off again. Oh, you can see I've put uh, bits and pieces along the route. Hi, Duck at Rail TV. Take it slowly up the bank. I mean, we're <laughs> we're getting there. to self, I shouldn't have really stopped there. At least we're hitting the 15 mile an hour speed limit, that's the main thing. Ha <laughs> ha. 
<laughs> Very good mod LMS. Very good. Ignore the speeding, I'm trying to get up speed because we don't want to hit the other bank at a lower speed, do we? Oh, thanks, Docker Rail. Through the forest we go, and we've got sparks coming out the chimney. No, George, don't worry. We're coming up to another station in a minute, so we can easily bring the pressure back up. I don't particularly want to have to stop on the gradient if I don't have to. We are on a 1 in 59 after all. That's better. Pressure's still going up. Oh no, oh, we're low on pressure. Still got quite a way. I'll go for the lower line though. Uh, so let's make sure we hit the lower line. No, I don't think uh, Matt is a football person, Liam. Uh, I think that the reason why I'm solo tonight is um, I think Matt has been doing quite a few streams, so um, we uh, thought we'd do one solo, and I haven't done one solo for a long while. Goods halt, look at this. A little vent van. Well, we're getting there. Nearly there. Well, I must admit, this is a beautiful line. Let's do a uh, uh, Sam Cam, shall we? Colonel Cam.
Now we can now cruise into Mons Band. Already speeding. There's a J94 in the corner there. Uh, Lucas, I would say my favourite electric train is a Swiss Crocodile. That's my favourite. And I've got the downgrade now. So we wanted to find, let's get the uh, LMS 8F and the LMS Jinsi. So I've now got the history up of both locomotives, look at this now, now it's starting to follow the coastline now. So, the LMS Stania 8F, which is the one uh, I'm driving from at the back here. Just to make sure we can actually get out the window. There's actually a viaduct for the other line as well. Oh, it's stopped. Oh well. It's fine. So you get started again. I'm on the flat now. Should have used too much brake. So the LMS Stania 8F, which is the one I'm currently driving right at the back, is a class of steam locomotive designed for hauling heavy freight. 852 were built between 1935 and 1946, not all to the LMS order, um, as a freight version of William Stania's successful Black Fives. So they were split, obviously they were split into different ones, uh, but a total of 852 were produced. Um, they weighed 72, um, 72 tons. Um, I'm not sure on their top speed. No, I'm not sure on this top speed, but there is uh, 12 preserved, two dumped in Turkey, Turkey but still existent, one part donors, 23 lost at sea, remained as scrapped. And then the LMS Jinty, which is the locomotive at the front, uh, is a Fowler 3F, uh, uh, LMS Fowler 3F, all, often known as a Jinty. Um, they represent the ultimate development of the Midland Railway's six couple tank engines. They can reach speeds of up to 60 miles an hour. You wouldn't think a little 060 like that would reach 60 miles an hour, would you? Um, so there was 422 produced between 1924 and 1931. They weighed 49 uh, tons, just around 49 tons, and there is nine preserved which is quite a lot, and I've just realised I'm speeding. There we go, a little bit of history. Yeah, Crucible, uh, the AFs were being transported uh, abroad. Um, and uh, unfortunately what happened was the boat sank. 
Um, so 23 AFs are currently sitting at the bottom of the sea. Really? I did not know that someone converted to... Uh, and I've just done that again, haven't I? Oh well. We're nearly there. Don't panic. We're nearly there. I was just giving them a scenic trip. You see, this is, this is a rail tour, you see, so... They're getting out and taking pictures. It's fine. We're near any there. Yes, yeah, Mark, yeah, there is 23 AFs at the bottom of the sea, apparently. I didn't think it was as many as that. Look at that, as if I was doing the right speed already. Now arriving at the ferry. sure we get to the end of the station end there. I think we've got enough coaches though to fit in so it's good. We get the N2 coaches in, it's fine. Look at that, and we're in, I think. Are we in? Look at that for a stop. I'm pretty impressed with that, and have we left enough room to run round? Yes, we have. Look at that. Now, what I'll do is I'll just quickly swap into the Jinty so we can get a photograph, or you can have a look at them next to each other. But there you go. As you can see, the branch splits in two, so you've got another area up here. Um, so that's that's mainly the breadth of the branch line, and obviously we've got the main station at uh, Dolby Victoria. But what I can do is I can just quickly show you the other end of Lakes End, which is up here. There you go. So you can look down, and there's the ferry down there. Um, there's also a tunnel 
Um, and then up here, I think there's a Jubilee up here. Yes, there is. There you go. LMS Jubilee. I thought I put one up here. Look at that. So there we go. And then we do is we'll just run the Ginty round the set. And we'll put uh, all next to the AF. And we can then move on to the next bit. How's that? There we go. Ready for the enthusiasts to take pictures. <laughs> yeah, Steve, yeah, I, I know I've done it. I didn't have to stop, although I did have to stop once, but it's fine. But they're still both together in one piece. They haven't run out of water. They haven't run out of coal. And I got there in the end. So, yes, we're doing fine. How's that? Mods, if you can put it in the chat again, that would be great. Um, right, so we move on to the next thing, shall we? Give me a couple of minutes. Thanks, Moggy. Uh, I'm going to put the other link in, don't panic, so I'll just put it in before we start. I've just got to find the scenario first. Knowing me, I've probably lost it. Uh, da -da. Da -da -da. No, I haven't. Thank, God. Thank goodness for that. So we're currently moving on to the Moso, uh, Mossel Valley uh, uh, Railway. Or barn, should I say? There we go. There we go. And here's a question for everybody. Well, ha has anybody picked up anything nice train simulator-wise in the sale? Obviously, it uh, finishes tomorrow, so make sure you get your DLC. Oh, hello. Here we go. Just let the route load in. Your departure time is 12.02 for a local service down the branch line. All stations to Tarabin Tarbeck. Your departure may be very slightly delayed by late running freight. There we go. So, we have got a, a 628 DMU, which I've never run before. Um... I'm not going to run with PZB because I can't even remember how to turn I haven't even turned it on in this. Wipers we don't need on. Drive. That's all we need to do. Now we just got to wait for our signal now. Uh, Mark, um, Moggy has put it in the chat further ab above and he's just commented to you. There you go, there's another DMU coming in. And we've got our road. We get to parallel run with the 101 now. Right. 
Matthew, this is the uh, Mossel and uh, the Mossel Barn, I think. Correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, mods, I'm sure that's correct. The lovely violet. Straight into a tunnel. Good help if I turn the headlights on and see where I'm going. Yeah, I'll show you the map. Quite an extensive map. So we are currently up here. And we're running down to Tower Man down. Look at that. Yeah, Bay Bean Kids is right. Loads and loads of vineyards. Way outside the signal. Let's just have a look at the map. What's going on? Oh, that's the reason why, because we're waiting to come across. Can't wait for an express coming out of the. So we're going to about to go down the mountainside there. goes. Just waiting for our path. And there's our path. Lovely. No, Daniel, uh, uh, not tonight.
straight across. Vineyard country. Uh, Matthew Robson, I'm not entirely sure what part of Germany this is. German crossing, so we're now coming into real. Crossing down to there. And I think our next station is further along, I think. That's a beautiful route, I love this. Never driven this before. Uh, I think it is Moselbahn. Yeah, I think it is. Yeah, it is Moselbahn. Right. And we're off. Yeah, you can watch, yeah, for anyone who uh, watches the streams, uh, as uh, chat have said, uh, do not panic, you can always re-watch them, so, um, you know, they're always there for you to watch, um, and where I've messed up and where Matt has messed up, um, you can go back and watch them as many times as you want. <laughs> Oh, thanks for that, uh, train, uh, no one trying to world. Thank you. Uh, I was wondering what part of Germany it was. Um. I thought it was just a different route to do. I was, 
I was trying to look for a, a nice German route to, to run. Um, and I saw this and I was like, oh, this is something a little bit different. Musibility, yeah, I'm good, thank you. Uh, thank you, yeah. Uh, hope everyone's doing okay. Um, I hope everybody's enjoying uh, the stream so far. Um, we're we're going to keep it a little bit shorter tonight. Um, so we'll, we'll uh, run this um, and then uh, uh, that'll be it tonight. Flashing, hang on. Be for crossing, I imagine. It is. To the YouTube channel, yeah, I've, n I've never driven this uh, before, so it's quite a nice, relaxing thing to drive. Certainly nice and smooth. Nice and nice, sort of easy to drive locomotive, I would say. I haven't turned the uh, CIFA and PZB on um, just so we could have a nice, sort of relaxing drive, really. Um, I thought for this workshop Wednesday, we'd just have a nice, sort of relaxing evening. Um, I'm a bit different. Uh, I have. Don't worry. Uh, if you have any suggestions, don't forget to uh, for scenarios. Don't forget to put it in, in the chat. Uh, not in the chat. In the um, um, forum post in the forums. Um, I have still got some suggestions, so don't panic. Um, I'm gonna return to Murdy. I was gonna run that. Um, uh, I'm going to run that when Matt's back, so we can uh, sort of have a laugh with that. Um, um, but uh, don't panic, we'll, we'll be running some more uh, of your suggestions in the future. I just uh, uh, wanted to show the Lakes End branch line because I must admit, uh, as people have said, um, I've been looking at that and it's just a fantastic route. It's small, it's nice and small, you do need a lot for it, but it's a, just a lovely little route. Uh, Mishi, I, I'm not sure because I've, I've never really been on a uh, German high-speed route, um, you know, uh, so I'm not sure. So we're not coming into this platform, we're in the one ahead. That's rather interesting. There you go, doors are open. Another nice little station. <laughs> Nonny, yeah. <laughs> I was waiting to see when someone would say that. Oh dear, yeah.
And we're off. What's this real on MSTS? I didn't even realise it was. I didn't even realise that. Another crossing. What's that about emergency supplies? Has someone run out of ice cream? What are you done now? Moggy, what have you done? Um, there's all sorts, uh, for, um, train simulator. Um, I mean, just have a look and see what you fancy. Um, uh, you know, it, it depends on your sort of scenarios. I mean, Woodhead, I, I think, I'm not sure what's on uh, I haven't actually had a look on the exact list on what's on sale. Um, but um, sort of vintage electrics, you know, just have a look, see what there is. So have a look at Germany, have a look at Switzerland, uh, the Swiss routes, you know, for the RHB. I will always recommend the RHB routes because they're, they're, they're just something different. Um, just decide what you want to, to drive, basically, um, you know, and see what's about, you know, even, even if, um, you know, there's something that you think, oh, I'm not quite sure about, you know, have a look at it, see what you, you know, see what, you know, um, have a look at some of the pictures in the, in there, and, yeah, it's, it's, there's all sorts of routes that we've got, all sorts of locomotives, you know, um, and they're all fun to use, you know. Just depends on what you want to use. Oh dear, Moggy. Oh dear. So you've run out of mini milks. You'll have to crack out the fab lollipops. Or the magnums. Yeah. yeah that's what I do. Ha <laughs> Yeah, I knew he would want them delivered by Gronk. But that, mind you, Moggy, I will say this. If you wanted your ice creams faster, you could go for something a little bit faster. I mean, maybe by the time the Gronk got to your house, the ice creams would be melted. Just saying. Melted? Is that English? Melted. Mel... Oh, never mind. I wouldn't even try. Very true, bad guy. Very true.
mod LMS. Yeah, I did forget that, didn't I? Yeah. Refrigerated wagons, of course. Yeah. Yeah. So then it wouldn't really matter what locomotive it was, really, would it? To be practically honest. Must admit, if you had a steam loco with a rail tool, you'd be pretty stuck, wouldn't you, if you wanted to run a loco around? Because look how short the platform is. So you'd have to stop the train there, run the locomotive round, and then push the set into the platform. Mind you, probably they wouldn't do that anyway, probably, would they? Just a hillbilly, no, nothing's broken. Just Moggy forgot to pick up some more ice cream, I think. Well, there we go. Oh, yeah, true, Moggy. True, Moggy. So, that's basically what I've got for tonight. Um, uh, so yeah, I, I hope you, I uh, hope you enjoyed that anyway. Um, so next time I'll be looking to, uh, for Watch It Wednesday, I'll look into, uh, some different, um, sort of scenarios we've got. I think we've had a suggestion for wherever it is, wherever my notepad's gone. Um, we have got, I know some people are requesting for London Brighton, so, um, uh, Mod LMS, I haven't got the... I don't think I've got the A4s installed. I don't think I've got them installed. Um, but uh, I'll... We'll do that for another time. Uh, I'll get the A4s installed, and I'll try and find a better place to run the, um, the A4s. So we'll do... Um, We'll do a little bit of uh, LGV madness again at some point, um, but we'll do. I think we'll probably what we'll do is chat. How do you sound for Return to Murdy? Uh, I do the challenge next week. Is that good? Does that sound good, chat? Hopefully we can, you know. Uh, so when Matt's back to, uh, next week, I think he's back next week. Um, we can then run the challenge. Yeah, I haven't done that mod LMS. I want to have a go at that. Don't worry, I've got plenty of workshop Wednesday, so you know we can we can always revisit things later on down the line. You know, um, so but I'll make a note of we want an A4. Um, I'll make a note of that. Where's my pen gone? Oh dear, I've lost my pen. Oh, there we go. That'll do. So we wanted an A4. Didn't we? Uh, let's get that written down. A4 Brighton. Yeah, I think that would be quite fun to do maybe on one evening. You know, so we have a have a good laugh with me trying to get an A4 as fast as possible. That would be quite interesting. So there we go. Well, I hope you enjoyed the little stream tonight uh, for Watch It Wednesday. Um, and I hope you enjoyed the scenarios. Uh, Mods, if you can just put the links in the chat again, that would be absolutely fantastic. Um, and make sure you keep making them. Um, you know, make sure you share. Um, um, you know, uh, make sure you 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 put. You know, you make your scenarios and routes. Um, send them to us. You, you know, we've got uh, bits in the forums where you. Uh, uh, which is the, I think it's the creative area, I can't remember exactly on the forums, um, let me just double check, it is creation center and then content developer area, um, you know, in the forums, you know, show us what you're making, um, it'd be lovely to see some routes and, and locomotives and, uh, no, routes, you know, whatever you're making, it would be, um, it would be fantastic, um, you know, uh, and, and share it so we can then show it on the stream, you know, it'd be brilliant to see some of your routes, and uh, your uh, scenarios. So there we go. Well, I hope you enjoyed tonight's stream, and I will see you all very, very soon. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.